<laughs> uh, Welcome back to Source Vet Nerd. I'm Reindeer, and this is Santa. Oh, oh, as an early Christmas present, or late, depending on how you look at it, <laughs> we picked some special newsy goodies for all you good boys and girls. Kicking it off with some bite sized stocking stuffers, let's talk about genitals. Yay! You see, when two people love each other, they're like puzzle pieces. And then when they want to make a baby, they take their pieces and they take their ding-dong and a hoo-ha and they put it together. Okay. It's a okay. puzzle. What Sam's trying to say is that a new game is coming out called Genital Jousting. That's the one. Although Sam did have a point there. This game really has nothing to do with reproduction. You're playing as little wieners with a set of hangers and a butthole in the end. You know. As you do. Mm -hmm. The point of this multiplayer is to slide your willy across the screen until you find a proper sphincter to slide right into. Let's cut to a clip. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't either. All right, two things popped in my head when I first saw this. One, these kind of look like those water wigglers from when we were kids. Oh. And two, kind of reminds me of the video of that cup stacking champion. Oh! <laughs> it's nice that you have to slide up for consent to play the game. Kids, don't put your dick in things without consent. The more you know. The game will be out in April, but we want to hear from you. What do you think of these sounds? On to less arousing news. We learned that Google's AlphaGo, Google's computer program designed to whoop anyone's brilliant butt at the game Go, has won four out of five games against human opponents. Uh, Stephen Hawking already warned us that AIs could end the human race. Why aren't we listening to the master of space and time? <sighs> Speaking of master of space and time, let's talk about Lindsay Lohan. Honestly, this next story is just for us because we think it's hilarious and wanted to talk about it a little bit. Let's give you the facts first. Lindsay Lohan, child actress turned Instagram sales mogul, has filed a lawsuit claiming that GTA 5 used her likeness to create Lacey Jonas. Not only does Lindsay believe that her likeness was used, she also claims that their names sound alike. Lacey, Lacey Jonas, Jonas, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Oh, and their fast rise to fame and then the fast fall from fame. This is irrefutable evidence. Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. So let's first start off by saying how we feel, Sam. Well, it's pretty clear that she looks like Kate Upton or Yvonne Strahovski. Or maybe even Alicia Cuthbert. Exactly. Or honestly, anyone who's blonde with boobies, because it's a drawn person. 2D girls are best girls, and they're best girls because they're not real. The real story is the fact that this lawsuit is moving forward. <sighs> Do you think Lindsay has a case? Let us know down below. <laughs> moving on. Twitch, the live streaming video platform service, is now moving on to the territory of developing video games. They've joined forces with a few studios to create games that incorporate the streaming aspect as part of the game. The idea most likely came from the hilariously successful cooperative, I use this term loosely, phenomenon that was Twitch Plays Pokemon. This new streaming gaming hybrid is called Stream First, and Twitch has already built three games to show. The first is Super Fight, yes, it's the adaptation of the card game. Maybe check out when we play it right here. The other one is called Streamline, which is basically GTA slasher mode with the broadcaster as the hunter and up to like 15 viewer community participants as the ones being chased. Hmm. And the last one is called Wastelanders. In this turn-based strategy game, the broadcaster is the warlord who leads their team of viewer participants in battle against other teams. Hmm. To me, this one sounds like D&D where the broadcaster is the dungeon master and your viewers are just in your party. This style of interactive community gaming already kind of exists with games like Fibbage, so it's not the most incredible development in the world. However, it will definitely generate a lot of hype on a platform like Twitch where interacting with a community is such a huge component of being a broadcaster. And for our last story of the day, let's talk about VR just for a second. Don't tune out just yet. Don't tune out. All right. We know virtual reality has been in the news a butt ton over the past few months, but we've got something pretty special to talk about. A bunch of lucky ducks got to experience Star Wars Trials on Tatooine, a brand new one-of-a-kind immersive VR experience. Players were able to walk around the surface of Tatooine, hang out with the M Falcon, as I like to call it, and even take a swing with a lightsaber. All in all, I'm very envious of these people. They got to experience something so freaking cool. Oh, me too. Trials of Tatooine was birthed from the brilliant minds over at IMLX Labs, a group that's revolutionizing immersive virtual reality, augmented reality, hell, every type of reality. They want to take these mediums and create a new form of storytelling. The goal is to immerse the viewer in the world that they're building. For example, ILMX Labs also showed off an animated movie following C-3PO and R2 being chased by stormtroopers, and the viewer can literally travel all around the village to see what the other avatars are doing. Shit! You could even see scenes from their point of view. Shit. Why down here? Shit. Now see, this is the future. Imagine watching an animated movie and you can travel around the whole city that it's taking place in for some weird reason. I don't know why you would even want to do that, but what if you could? What if you could? That's the future. All right, all right. Enough about movies, enough about Star Wars VR. That's old news now. Now think about this.
VR roller coasters. No, that sounds like puke. Yeah, it does. No. Yeah, it does. Over in Mario England. Oh, okay, bail. Bail now. Good call. Guys, you are done. Over in England at the famous Alton Towers theme park, park goers are about to experience a world's first. Alton Towers has repurposed an old roller coaster air into Galactica, a VR space themed roller coaster. Each rider pops on a headset, jumps mm. in their seat, and soars through the cosmos and into black holes and past proto planets. Sounds incredible. Look at Chris Hadfield having a ball. No, I'll be barfing before I even sit in the seat. How about you? <laughs> what do you think about all this future VR tech? Would you watch a VR movie or are you more of a roller coaster kid? Or is there too much VR? Let us know down below. A little bit maybe. And now enjoy this adorable Kimono Pikachu from the newly opened Pokemon Center in Kyoto, Japan. We'll see you next time. Bye. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice hits theaters March 25th, which is right around the corner. And to celebrate, let's take a look at all the times the two most popular superheroes went toe to toe.